Hey friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So I apologize for the noise in the background. If you can hear that, I do have some stuff on the spinner right now. And it has that spinner that I bought has quickly gotten to where it's quite noisy. All right, so what we're gonna do today, you know, we're looking at the fact that the Dollar Tree has really been coming out with a lot of products for crafting. Like, they're really trying to get in the game. They've had the Cricut products that we looked at, and I was very surprised. I couldn't believe that I found this. So this is glass etching cream. So we're gonna see how well this works today. I have this mug is from the Dollar Tree and these pool noodles, I've been using this forever, also from the Dollar Tree. I just tape them on the edge, that's what, on the ends, that's what I use to hold my cups. And I'm actually using Dollar Tree, um, this is the Magic Cover vinyl. This is one of my favorites for doing stencils. So um, we have that. And then, so this glass etching cream is supposed to be like armor etch. I haven't used it. I don't know how well it works, but I did read the directions and it wants us to leave it on for 15 to 30 minutes before we rinse it off. Armor etch is about 15. Now, you know, sometimes when you look at these for like the size, you think, oh, is it really a good value? Now, you, armor etch comes in much larger quantities and um, the armor etch, you know, it goes a long way. So it really depends on how much you're gonna use. If you're not gonna use this a lot, having a small one is really nice. But the other thing is, I doing the math on it, armor etch is basically anywhere from $1.40 to $1.66 an ounce. And this is about $1.42 an ounce because it's a 0.7 ounce container. So I feel like it's pretty compatible. Now I'm going to just grab some gloves because that's the one thing I did forget. Hold on one second. Now I do personally always wear gloves because you know it is a chemical process. So it is my preference to wear gloves when I'm doing this. And I apologize, I know I haven't uh, put out a video in quite a few days. I've been so busy at work. The hospitals have just really been super, super busy lately. So that is why. All right, so, all right. Now this is just the word claimed. I know that might sound a little bit silly. However, um, this is for my husband and my husband loves The Walking Dead. And ever since there was some guy on there, I stopped watching it because it was just, you know, early on it was fine, but after a while it just really got to where it was too much for me. I did put some alcohol on here to clean it good. The one thing is you really want to make sure that your stencil is down really well because you don't want your, um, etching cream to get underneath it because it will mess it up. But yeah, so my husband, I guess there's somebody that would say, you know, would claim everything that he saw that he wanted. And since then, my husband, every time he sees something that he wants to keep for himself, he always tells me that it's claimed. So he loves these big old um, glasses. So I'm just going to put this on here for him. And now you're taking out your insides in order to make your stencil, but don't forget that you do have to put your little pieces back in, in like A's, E's, you know, D's like that, right? All right. All right, so I'm gonna open this. Now it does say that if your um, unused stuff becomes dry, that you can add some water to it and it says to shake it up really well. And um, it says to use the applicator. So I'm thinking there's an applicator on here, so I didn't grab one. 
and then it says to use a nice thick amount Well, it said with the applicator, but there's no applicator. So let me grab one. I'm just gonna grab a little popsicle stick. I'm gonna use a popsicle stick and make sure it's stirred really well. I'm just going to make sure it's covered nicely. So the texture of this is definitely different than Armoretch. The one thing with Armoretch also is it really doesn't dry out and I can generally go on and like take anything that's excess and I can put it um, back in my Armoretch container. So I have had my Armoretch container for quite a long time. But hopefully this will work nicely and it's great because, you know, if you just have a few things that you wanna do, it would be nice to be able to just pay one dollar as opposed to you know between 15 and 20. Now the Armoretch I usually sit for 15 minutes this is 15 to 30 so just to give it the opportunity to really work well I'm going to let this sit for 30 and then we'll come back and we'll rinse it and we'll see how it does, okay? So, and it says to give it a nice thick coating. So I did make sure that I gave it a nice thick coating and we're gonna just let it sit. There's not really any smell to it. And this is what the container looks like outside of the packaging. So not really any smell. All right, so we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll finish, okay friends? All right, so it's been exactly 30 minutes. My alarm just went off. Now we're gonna go inside and we're going to clean this off and see how it, how it works. All right, so we are at my sink. Now, make sure you guys can see. All right, so here is our cup. When I am doing when, when I'm doing etching cream like this, I like to take and rinse it off with it laying just like this before I pull off my piece. And the reason why I like to do that is because it keeps it from smearing. All right, let's see. All right, let's go outside where we can look at it a little bit better. All right, so I washed it off with Dawn dish soap also, just to make sure it was nice and clean. So this is what we've got. So does it look great? It does not. And it definitely, like it must get really liquidy as it's sitting there because it really got up underneath the letters. And I use this vinyl all the time with Armoretch and I've never had that happen. So it must get quite liquidy. Now, I think that if you were doing like a big picture or something like that, you could use this and make it work. I this like letters and these aren't even super detailed, but that definitely was it. Now, the color is different than what Armoretch gives, which is weird to say, but it does definitely look different. And I like like I like the visual color of it it just definitely ran so it 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 does work it it definitely works um i would be really careful because i would certainly hate for you to 
ruin a project because like if this were something I were making to sell or as a gift I would have to toss it I wouldn't be able to use it and I would have ruined you know my cup um so definitely so definitely be careful I think I myself will probably stick with armoretch um because you know, I don't have that leaking underneath the vinyl. So, yeah, I mean, if you were just trying to do like a bigger picture or something, I think that it would work. And, you know, because it, it definitely did the etching. And it's this nice like foggy look. It's funny though, because when you look at the picture, they definitely used vinyl in that picture. There's no way that they use this cream. So, but anyway, so, you know, there it is. Does it work? Yes. Is it better than Armor Etch? No. But it, it does work. All right. Hey, listen, I hope that this was helpful. I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. And I will see you later, friends. Bye.